Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and today we have gotten a very interesting call. Now, a friend of the shop called us and said that sometime last night, their grandpa's Duramax just wasn't where it usually was, and they weren't sure if someone had had a little bit of, a little bit too much of an off-road excursion the previous night, or if they had just lent the truck to somebody, but they were passing by on a really, like, sketchy section of road near town, and they saw the truck basically almost entirely submerged. Now, I remember when the person actually had this truck rebuilt and actually got it put back on the road, and I was kind of thinking to myself, I really hope it's not the same truck, but it very well could be. And so what I did was I grabbed the biggest Kenworth tow truck we had at the shop and decided to fire it up and see what was all going on with said Grandpa Duramax. So without any further ado, let's fire this thing up and see what we can figure out about this whole situation. And by the way, this thing sounds incredible. Also, we got a full toolbox right there on the back. We've got, let's see, what do we have? Fuel and filters. We got tool, parts, spares, or sorry, tools, parts, and spares. Um, air tools, compressor. We got a winch. We got a tow body. Everything that we might need to perform a full recovery on this thing. Now, if I go to the interior, it gets even crazier. Here's the thing, though. It's got so much torque that you basically go back into the seat and you can't keep your dude far enough forward. <laughs> but either way, I mean, that's a small price to pay for one of the most fully detailed mods I have ever seen. And let's make a quick right-hand turn. Real quick, I do think we should head through the burger place and get ourselves something to eat. But I don't know if this truck will actually fit through the burger place. Hang on. All right, let me back up. Let me back up just a tiny bit. Get everything resituated. And, man, this thing is loud. All right, let me shut it down. Yes. Yep, nope, literally just a burger. A burger and, well, a couple of drinks. That'll be about it. Okay, cool. Thing is so loud, they can't even hear you in the drive-thru. Some of these trucks, they really are that loud. Even, like, you know, even diesel pickup trucks to a certain degree. If they're straight-piped, some of them are so loud, they can't even hear you in the drive-thru. Also... This thing's turning circle is so large, it can't even make the entire turnaround for the burger place. So now that we've uh, gotten some food, let's make a quick left down here through the neighborhood and start getting a little bit closer to where this truck was last reported being seen. Now, if it's in the area that I think that it's in, this recovery is going to be a little bit trickier than I originally thought because we're talking about something that is fully either fully submerged or near fully submerged. I also wonder, I mean, we may even have to go fishing. I, I'm kind of hoping we don't, but we might have to. All right, let's make our way on down. This is going to be our right-hand turn. I don't see anything yet, but that doesn't necessarily mean... Wait a minute. I think I see the back of a tailgate, like just the literal very top of a tailgate. Hold on. Oh my god. Holy crap, y'all. That is literally in there. That is so... Well, if it didn't need a full rebuild before, it is definitely going to need one now. All right, step one is going to be to just get it out of there. And then step two is going to be to get it on the tow truck and haul it back to the shop. So let's see. We're going to have to get that thing hooked up. Let's see. All right, boom. Hook it up to the hitch. And easy, just drag it out of there. Holy crap. Dude, there's probably so much water in that thing right now. Not only is the engine going to have to be rebuilt, but it's going to need a bas basically like a whole new interior. Probably a whole new wiring harness as well with all of that flooding. Let me get it up onto some flat-ish ground. Maybe not even flat-ish, but more like just at least like somewhat dry ground. And then, all right, that should be good enough. And then control evacuator. I want to say that this thing, you know what? I'm going to need a little bit of a refresh on how that thing actually works because, you know what? That particular tow platform is not one I have used in quite a while. All right, let's see. Come on. All right, here we go. Now, let me extend. No. There we go. Back up. Extend, 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 extend. Not bad. All right, that should be good enough. 
And you're in the ground. Alright, good to go. Now let's winch you up onto the back of the truck. Alright, easy. Come on. Come on. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, dude. Absolutely. Not only that, but we're going to need a photo of that one for the, uh, for the towing and recoveries album for sure. That looks sick. Although, once again, this thing is, uh... This thing is definitely going to be pretty waterlogged. Once we get it up onto the truck, yeah, it's going to need some rebuild work. It's even got a little bit of damage down here on, like, the bumper, the, like, the fender. There's a little bit more damage on this thing than I thought there would be. Someone went a little crazy. And when I say a little crazy, I mean, like, someone went really, really nuts with this truck. I don't know how it ended up where it ended up, but, man, it's going to... It's gonna need more than a couple of things. Get you up on the, the tow body right there, and... All right, that's good enough. Pull it back just a little bit. Okay, that should be plenty. And, all right, now, let's see. Pack, and then let me get this thing back up and bring it in. I said bring it in, not out, in. There we go, that's enough. I just don't want to damage the front end of the truck. I think we've got, yeah, we got a little bit more room. We can go with it. And that's, that's enough. That's plenty. All right. Now we don't need that boat on anymore. And now we can get on back to town and set about rebuilding this truck and also digging into it and seeing if we can figure out what happened. Because it is, um, I mean, it was literally buried in the river. With, keep in mind, nobody around it, no answers about it, no nothing whatsoever. I mean, God, everything that, that was in the glove box is going to be washed away at this point or basically so incredibly soaked with water that it's not even going to be readable anymore. So who knows who this thing is even registered to. But hey, if nobody comes to pick it up, eventually the shop can claim it. And at that point, you know what? You know what I'll actually do if the shop can claim it? I'll just make it a shop truck. Legit, I will actually just make it a shop truck. All right. Now, before we get back to the shop, though, I forgot to get coffee. And that need that that's literally, I don't know why I forgot to get coffee. It's literally one of the most important aspects of, like, my morning routine is stopping for coffee. But I'll tell you one thing. Instead of going around the building, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn right here. I'm going to throw it in reverse. I'm going to back in because there's, there's nobody there. There's literally nobody there. Hang on one moment. And now, just so they know who it is, that should be more than enough for them to not only know who it is, but to, uh, to know what my coffee order is. And yes, you've got it. All right, beautiful. Now let's get back on into the shop. And while we're there, we'll kind of figure out what our plans might be for this truck depending on like kind of where we start to uh where we'd start to go with it you know because if we can claim it as the shops then you know i might change the color change the wheels change the ah, change the setup i don't know why i just went into terminal understeer right there but that was god i love that jake break sound it's so freaking good will you go please Sometimes the transmission of this truck can be a little bit, like, a little bit finicky. All right, let's see. Just make sure nobody's coming before we get on the main road. God, you have to plan out your turns, like, a planet in advance, because it's not a quick thing. Like, planning out your turns in this truck is not like, oh, yeah, we're just going to do it, and we're going to hope for the best. I mean, if you want everything to go smoothly, you got to plan it in advance. All right, now... I'm gonna roll you down to the shop door, and if you could, like, stop, that'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, remember that moment when I, when I figured that I would, like, stop the truck? Shouldn't have done that. All right, ramp down, and extend. All right, looks good. And then now, we're gonna get in this thing, but basically what we're gonna do is... We're going to put it in neutral and we're going to push it because who knows what happened to the engine. All right. And now we've gotten it up to the garage door without starting the engine or even attempting to whatsoever. Let's bring it inside the garage and see where we go from there. So I'm thinking that once we... Oh, wow. This thing was built. Let's see. SoCal Stage 2 LBZ and let's see. Built... 
um, Allison 10 speed. There's a lot going on in this thing. There's there's a ton. Let's see, one ton, 10 inch lift, 40 inch dually setup with some like, dude, like some American Force wheels. Even, bro, it's even got some like slotted rotors behind the American Forces. Someone put some serious time and effort into this truck. Serious time and effort, some serious like, serious work. Like, I mean, it's got a color matched grill. It's got all the badges done. I mean, you could color match the bow tie, but we're not going to touch the truck in terms of customization until we know whether or not we can keep it. Ooh, color matched front bumper looks so good. Stock bumper. I mean, there's so much we could do to this truck if we decide to keep it. It's already got an axle dump exhaust. It's got freaking, oh my God. This thing is so set up, dude. It's so well set up. Well, I mean, after a few, uh, few weeks in the shop waiting on parts and you know stuff to get fixed i think we're gonna just take it outside and probably park it out here and see if we can figure out who owns this thing and if not we'll put it up for sale and if nobody buys it we'll claim it for ourselves but man i'm there's a part of me that's really hoping we get to claim this truck for ourselves because if we do oh we'll be adding an amazing rig to the shop fleet for sure but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.